Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. The Weekend Golfer is back this week to introduce you to a new course in the Sand Hills that has a limited time opportunity. So get your clubs cleaned up and get your shoes shined. We're taking a walk at the Dormy Club. The natural landscape of the Sand Hills is known more for the sandy soil than the rolling hills that links the region together. Most golfers know how many great courses are in the area to play, many of which are designed by Donald Ross. I know the history of Donald Ross pretty well. I live in his house, and I've studied the man pretty hard. And if you look at this area, it's pretty cluttered with Donald Ross golf courses, which is a great thing, but they're so much alike. When Robert Hansen decided to purchase some property near the village of Pinehurst, he wanted to make sure that any golf course that was going to be built on his land would be designed by the great Ben Crenshaw and his design partner, Bill Kaur, the same two gentlemen that recently refurbished Pinehurst number 2. Ben was very excited, didn't tell him where town it was in yet. He got more excited and more excited with the thought of what we were going to design and how many acres we'd have. And then I told him it was going to be in Piners, North Carolina. And he said, call Bill right away and have him come look at the property. What has been created is the Dormy Club. This soon to be fully private golf course is opening its fairways to public play for the first two years to enjoy and experience the masterpiece that Cor and Crenshaw designed over this 1,000 acre rolling piece of property. We have wide fairways. We have lots of nice natural transition areas. This property, however, has 110 foot changes in elevation. And by having those elevation changes gave us the opportunity to create a myriad of golf holes that don't exist in the sand hills whatsoever. So I headed out with Dormy Club's director of golf, Randy Cavanaugh, to see what the fuss is about. Well, this course is definitely a, an adventure course with lots of hills, but this is also a nice way of keeping it uh, natural looking. What, what was the reason behind this? Well, Cor and Crenshaw are known for being minimalist. So as little dirt moved as possible as part of their philosophy. So we're playing really from a natural elevated position here. It hasn't been created. Uh, the ravine was there as well, and the green site is on the hillside as it was. So even with the bunkering, you'll see that although there's some defined edges on the inside of play, the transition into the off area is very natural. And that is minimalist, but it, uh, I think, speaks well to them doing a great job with the design. Just one of many great holes to challenge your game. One thing that you don't see on this course is buildings. The natural landscape of the trees and wetlands sets the scene for your enjoyable round with one of the club caddies. So this green is nice. We've been seeing a lot of differences though. This is just one of the uh, variances of, of the amount of undulation and everything you'll see. Talk about what the greens are like out here. Well, Bill Kaur is a genius at green design and he does them really himself on a small machine which uh, he generally you'll see this green is, is fairly large but greens out here range from 2,500 to 8,000 square feet so we've got a huge variety in size um, this one matches the shot we just had about a 200 yard carry to this par 3 green and there are an, almost an unlimited number of pin placements so rather than three general shelves there are a lot of intricate breaks in, in his greens, and uh, this one is classic Bill Cor. Well, unfortunately, I've also noticed that if you're not on the green, your spill-off areas are sand traps. And Well, I'm... you unfortunately found one of the deeper bunkers out here, and now you're challenged with a difficult bunker shot to a very intricate green. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> uh, this should be fun, I think. Uh, we'll see how we do. So to enjoy your round at Dormy Club, bring your best game, and be prepared to take a rolling walk through some of the lush fairways and greens while trying to avoid as many of the sand traps. In the Sand Hills at the Dormy Club, I'm Jeff Smith, the Weekend Golfer. The Dormy Club is a few miles north of Pinehurst, and though they have caddies on site, they also offer carts. For more information on your round at the Dormy Club, give them a call at 910-947-3240 or go online to dormyclub.com. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.